Elab Science Elastic Kit Operation Guide. Open the package box, take out the Elastic Kit, and read the label. Be sure to store the kit at the full stand grade and pay attention to its expiration date. Preparation before experiment. 1. Read the manual carefully before use. If you have any questions, please contact ElabScience in time to avoid any unnecessary mistakes occurred during experiment. The specific contact information shows on the first page of the manual. 2. Bring the kit to room temperature before use. Prepare all the required material needed for assay during this period of time, including microplate reader, pipettes, disposable pipette tip, EP tubes, the ion lines or distilled water, absorbent paper, and a 37 centigrade incubator. Assay procedure. One, prepare standard solution. Take standard and reference standard sample diluents out of kit and prepare seven clean EP tubes. Reconstitute the standard with one point milliliter reference standard sample diluent. Let it stand for 10 minutes until it dissolved fully. Add 0.5 ml reference standard sample diluents to 7 EP tubes separately. Prepare the standard solution to make it mix thoroughly. Then prepare 0.5 ml standard to the first EP tube and mix it. Please be as slight as possible to avoid foaming. The procedures of preparing the remaining concentrations are all the same except for the last EP tube, which serves as blank control. Note, it's not recommended to dilute standard samples directly in the 96 well plate. Two, add standards and samples. Open the foil pouch and take out 96 wheel plates. Put excess microplate strips back to the foil pouch. Add 100 microliter standards to each wheel successfully from lower concentration to higher concentration. Parallel measurement is recommended. Add samples vertically into the wheels according to arranged order. It's suggested to control the time in 10 minutes. The pipette should not touch the inside wall or the bottom of the wheel. The pipette tip should be changed to avoid cross-contamination. If the concentration of samples is too high, please dilute it before adding. Dilution ratio will be decided by pre-experiment. Three, cover the sealer after adding the samples. Incubate for 90 minutes at 37 centigrade. Note. Preheat the incubator and be careful of its temperature controller. 4. Prepare biodilated detection antibody solution. Please prepare it 15 minutes prior to use. The biodilated detection antibody provided in the kit is concentrated solution. Please dilute it 100 times before use. Add diluted biodilated detection antibody solution to loading slot. Then, add a corresponding volume of concentrated biot-related detection antibody. Mix it thoroughly. 5. Take out plate and uncover its sealer slightly. 
Remove the liquid of each wheel and pat the plate against the clean absorbent paper. Add 100 microliter biotility detection antibody solution to each wheel. Ensure that the surface of the solution in the pipette is level when you are pipetting and add vertically in the wheels. Cover the sealer and incubate for 16 minutes at 37 centigrade. 6. Prepare HRP conjugate solution. Please prepare it 15 minutes prior to use. HRP conjugate is concentrated, please dilute it 100 times before use. Add diluent for HRP conjugate to slowing slots. Then add corresponding volume of concentrated HRP conjugate. Mix it thoroughly. 7. Washing. Wash buffer provided in the kit is concentrated, so please dilute it 25 times before use. Take out micro plates, uncover in sealer, and remove solution in the wheels. Add 350 microliter wash buffer. Soak it for 1 to 2 minutes. Then remove wash buffer solution and repeat this for twice. Or you can wash by what washer machine. Set the parameters and put the plate in the old washer. After the last wash, complete removal of liquid is essential in both methods. Anyway, please keep consistent in the assay. 8. Add 100 microliter HRP conjugate solution to each wheel. Cover the sealer and incubate for 30 minutes at 37 centigrade. 9. Washing. Repeat washing process for 5 times as conducted in step 7. 10. Add TMB substrate reagents. Add needed volume of TMB substrate reagent to the loading slot. Then pipette 90 microliter to each wheel. Cover the sealer and incubate for 15 minutes at 37 centigrade. The reaction time can be shortened or extended according to the actual color change, which is observed every 5 minutes, but not more than 30 minutes. 11. Add stop solution. Add needed volume of stop solution to the loading slot. Then pipette 50 microliter to each wheel. The blue color turns into yellow immediately. Please clean water logging on the bottom with soft cloths. 12. Reading. Open and preheat the microplay reader ahead and set testing system. Detect the OD value immediately in 450 nm wavelengths after experiment stops. Save the data and analyze. For more information, please visit our official website www.elabscience.com.